Gambian President Adam Barrow has appointed his deputy. The announcement was made from Dakar as speculation grows over when the new president will return home. Barrow has named Fatumata Tambajang as his new vice president. Tambajang was health minister in the previous administration, but she fell out with her former president, Yaya Jameh. She's now vowed to prosecute Jameh and reclaim any stolen assets. There are also reports that weapons are missing from State House. ECOWAS troops are still in Gambia. They've been securing key sites in the capital, Banjul. ECOWAS says its forces will stay in the country as long as necessary to root out any security threats. Well, let's now go live to Banjul, the Gambian capital, for the very latest. We're joined by CGTN's Sony Methu. Sony, Gambia has a new vice president. Certainly good news. Is she in the country? And what, do, and what more do we know about uh, Tambajang? Yes, indeed, Lindy, she is in the country and we do know that she qualifies by all means to be the vice president. However, it's said now that it's unconstitutional just because of her age. She is 68 years old and according to the constitution, uh, any, new, any vice president should be between the age of 30 and 65. So we do know that she worked, as you said, in the Ministry of Health. She was actually very key in bringing together the parties to form the coalition and actually chaired the coalition. Coalition. But now this is a coalition government that has started on an awkward start to begin with because there were many more appointments to be made yesterday. There were many more announcements to be made about the new appointments. But as soon as this was mentioned, there was a lot of opposition because they're saying that this is actually unconstitutional. She is a mother of eight. She studied in Gambia, Senegal and France. And a lot of people say she is democratic and she should actually not accept this appointment because it's unconstitutional. Well, I suppose we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens in that regard. But in the meantime, it's clear that she's ready to, to uh, prosecute Jamey um, for anything that may have been stolen or taken from State Coffers or from State House. We are hearing reports now that weapons are even missing from State House. What more can you tell us about that? Well, they're still searching what weapons are missing. They're not specifying exactly what is missing. They're just saying they're calling it heavy artillery that is missing. There are unconfirmed reports that this could have been taken to Kanilai. Kanilai is where uh, the former president Yaya Jame was born, and actually he had expanded the town. There were rumors that he wanted to make it the capital. And we also know that there are a few rebels there, and there are unconfirmed reports, as I mentioned earlier, that these weapons could be there in bunkers or could have been distributed to these rebels. We will probably head out there later and see if the ECOWAS, uh, according to my sources, ECOWAS will be also be heading there to find out if the weapons are indeed there. This include anti-aircraft artillery guns and this is maybe the reason why uh, President Barrow is not yet in the country. He's still waiting for a green light to tell him that it's safe for him to come back. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Sonia Methu, with that update there for us uh, in Banjul, Gambia.